Guys, I never realised, well, of course I realised, but it just seemed a lot easier to make videos without school being on, and it, it literally, like, I managed to make a lot of videos with while school was on, but now it's just, like, way harder for some reason, like, it's the end of the year, getting all tired and shit, and, like, uh, really... It's just hard to make videos, so there might be a video once every two days. Of course, I'm going to try and keep with the daily uploads because I'm a daily uploader, bro. But maybe every once in a while there'll be uh, a video every two days, but I'll probably make up for it on the weekend. So sorry if there's a day without uploads. Um, it won't be tomorrow. I'm going to get a Smackdown Live review out tomorrow. It's 9.05. So I'm going to quickly edit this, get it uploading, go to bed. And it's only 9 to 5, but I'm tired as shit. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, what's going on? My name's Kane, and welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to be doing a WWE Raw review. Watch Raw after school. Nearly fell asleep between the freaking... What's it called? Gallows and Anderson match. I don't even know why that was there, but anyway, we'll get to that later. Let's go. Start off the show. Roman Reigns came out. Lana came out. Everyone was just like, double, 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 double. Hey, um, you can go to hell. My husband hates you. Double, double, double. Uh, and then Roman Reigns is like, get your cheap ass husband out here. And then basically they announced Reigns vs Rusev at Hell in a Cell after Rain Rusev comes out. They have a bit of a freaking brawl. Reigns vs Rusev, Hell in a Hell, Hell in a Hell, Hell in a Cell for the title. Okay, sure. Then we had TJP vs uh, Brian Kendrick. I swear, I it, it didn't make any sense. They advertised it as a title match, then they advertised it as a non-title match, and then a title match, and now it's a non-title match. I don't know if they changed their mind or what, but Brian Kendrick won with the captain's hook. TJ Perkins looked strong-ish in defeat. It was a good match, but yeah, the champion lost. Brian Kendrick is a man with a plan. I only really like TJ Perkins' entrance, except the dab, because I hate dabs. But TJ Perkins is really cool. I like TJ Perkins, and of course I like uh, Brian Kendrick, because when I first wa started watching wrestling, he was there. Uh, my most memorable match of his was him in a five, uh, in a championship scramble at Unforgiven. Was it 08 or 09? I'm not sure, but <laughs> yeah. Anyway, good match. Then we have uh, Michael Cohen Rollins talking about uh, Kevin Owens and the Universal Championship. Decent segment, but it was a good uh, step in the direction of Seth Rollins being a baby face, which was alright. Uh, it kind of. Seth Rollins will always feel like a heel character, honestly. Like, he still kind of seems heelish, but we, we've seen many baby face things. We just need one last thing to, like, be sure that he's a good guy, you know? Because. God knows next week he could bloody, you know, freaking be holding hands with Kevin Owens in the ring. God knows what will happen. But anyway, that was a nice little three piece there from the freaking guy that's playing this game. Link in the description to the gameplay. Anyway, yeah, it was a good step in the direction, as I mentioned. Braun Strowman vs Chase Silver. Braun Strowman beat him and then Saxton interviewed Strowman and then Strowman got pissed off and he said, Tell Foley to get me some bloody competition, I'll bloody kill him, the bloody faggot. Give me some bloody competition, you bloody asshole. Uh, and then we had some more hype about Charlotte and Sasha in the main event. Bailey showed up backstage, they were talking, she was talking to Sasha about being in the main event of Raw. They were saying, oh, you're in Trish and Lita territory, you're the best, I love you. Then we had an ab for SmackDown. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, the Braun, Braun Strowman match was okay. Okay, whatever. <laughs> 
Kevin Owens made uh, his entrance. They, Michael Hall announced the Royal Rumble returning to the Alabadabadaba. He screwed up and said it's in San Diego, but it's in San uh, Antonio or San Francisco. There's so many Sands. There's San Francisco, San Antonio, San Diego. I actually never realized how many Sands there were. Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, they announced that Route 7 Reigns will be happening at Hell in a Cell. Kevin Owens was in the ring with Jericho. Jericho said, let's go after the tag titles. Uh against the New Day and Kevin Owens was like oh that's too much work then Jericho said it's not like I'm gonna go after your title or anything and then the crowd went Ooh. so I think it's gonna be Jericho versus Rollins versus Kevin Owens at Hell in a Cell at least that's what I'm hoping for I reckon Jericho's leaving after Hell in a Cell though which is absolute bullshit Jericho's one of the best things going in WWE like I know he's been going for 26 years and that's and he still appears on every Raw but still like he should just stay with freaking wrestling until he ends his career you don't need to go and bloody I don't know you don't need to go with Fozzy mate I know you like Fozzy, but anyway, um, literally, I just hope he stays until next WrestleMania. You can retire after that if you want. He's such a legend, he can. But seriously, I, oh, I'm gonna be so sad if he leaves after Hell in a Cell. Uh, and then uh, Owen said, "Oh, that sounds great." He says, "Oh, Sheamus have a tag title wind up." Jericho said, "Who cares? They're not best friends." New Day came out. Uh. And then, you know, Kofi Kingston said they're the best friends in the WWE. Then New Day were like, oh, let's have a champion title. Jericho, you can't come. Kevin Owens, you can come. You're a champion. And eventually they just announced a, uh, a what's it called, a tag team match for later on in the night. But uh, basically that was a good segment. I enjoyed it. Good to see the New Day, like, I think it worked perfectly. The New Day with Kevin Owens and Jericho, all of them are good on the mic and it, it just worked fantastically because people were starting to get bored of the New Day and you know that's kind of what we just needed to you know have our faith back in the New Day. I'm fine with New Day holding on to the championships until December if that's what WWE want as long as they can make it interesting and yeah when they were heels it was really really good. Anyway. Uh, I feel like next week we're going to see Seth Rollins teaming up with the New Day, like the olden days, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, it was a good segment. So yeah, then we had Sami Zayn versus Titus O'Neil, which freaking Titus O'Neil quickly won. I mean, not Titus O'Neil, Sami Zayn. Titus O'Neil has his freaking new Titus brand jocks, underwear. Jocks and underwear are the same thing anyway, who cares? Uh, and then... Yeah, whatever. Sarah and Seamus were backstage having a fight. Mick Foley showed up. He's like, I'm a double, double, double. And this is the point where Raw really started to dip. Then we had Luke Goss and Carl Anderson. Uh, and then they're like, oh, these guys are the best. They're totally tag title. They've been in action. Oh, my God. Golden Truth made their song. And they're like, it's the golden truth. Me and my boy, we make it simple. Golden truth. What's up? It's the golden truth. Oh god. Luke Gowers and Carl Anderson quickly beat Archer with in gold. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, at least they're doing something with them that isn't making them lose to the new day. Anyway. Ashton Kutcher and freaking Danny Matheson Ma Masterson, I don't know his name. We're backstage talking to Jericho and Owens and whatever. Okay, I don't care. Enzo and Cass were in the ring, made a really good uh, promo uh, segment about uh, Susan G. Komen. Worked perfectly, was fantastic, got a massive pop out of the crowd. Well done, Enzo and Cass, for taking up that role. It was amazing. So, good on for that. Uh, yeah, that was good. Uh, Big E and Xavier Woods versus Jericho and Owens. Uh, Kofi wasn't wrestling because he had stitches from last week being busted open. Basically, the New Day won, and uh, 
Madison and Kutcher were on commentary. They, I actually enjoyed that. I don't really even know them. I know Ashton Kutcher, but like, you know, uh, you know, they, they were all right. They were all right. Um, so yeah, so yeah. Uh, well, it, it was all right up until they started talking about their shows. When, honestly, it wasn't that, I don't even know what I'm saying. It wasn't even that, why do we have these celebrities on Raw? I am all over the shop, guys. I freaking need some sleep. I'm all over the shop. Bloody hell. Tom Phillips interviewed Charlotte and Dana Brooke. Charlotte's like, I'm better than you, yada, yada, yada. Oh, we're going to expose Sasha and she's going to be off the pedestal that social media put her on. Yada, yada, yada. Rich Swan vs. Tony Nese was hyped. Uh, and then Stephanie McMahon was backstage with Rollins. And Steph said, oh, you're all alone. You got no shield, got no authority. You're shit, mate. Fight me, dog. And then Rollins is like, I'm going to burn it to the ground. Uh, Rowan said Triple H made the second worst decision of his life. Steph asked what the, wor the worst decision and Rowan said it was marrying her. And everyone was like, oh, oh you rebel. Then we had Rich Swan versus Tony Nese, which was a great match that Tony Nese won. I was happy that Tony Nese won. Great five minute match. But yeah, it was good. Uh, it was good, it was good. Tony Nese, I believe, is a star, so, yeah. Then we have Seamus and Cesaro vs. Roll White and Mark Kamajimashimbukin. And then, uh, you know, Cesaro interrupted Seamus' entrance, yada, yada, yada. Seamus was unhappy and... Mm. Mm. And then uh, we had a video package about Charlotte and Sasha Banks. Uh, it was a nice, it was a nice uh, tribute to them. Started off in NXT, then the main roster and all that. Uh, then we had Charlotte vs Sasha Banks. Wasn't even that long of a match. There were a lot of breaks. It went for 14 minutes. There was a lot of breaks for Fox 8, but Sasha Banks won, which was cool. I don't know what direction they're going in with the women's. I don't know why they're changing the gimmick of freaking Emma as well. The freaking Australian. Why? She was going fantastically before she got injured. Now you're giving her whatever gimmick you want to give Emma. But, oh my god, it's just cringe. What are Raw doing? This is why SmackDown is freaking fantastic. Oh my god. It was a good main event anyway. Uh, but, you know, I feel like they're just putting women in the main event for the sake of them being like, Hey, we like women. Yeah. Woo! And, yeah. It was it was a decent Raw. I didn't mind it. Did did what it had to. Uh, I enjoyed some matches. Rich Swan, Tony Nese, TJ Perkins, Brian Kendrick. Uh Probably my favourite overall thing of the night was Jericho and Owens and the New Day. But yeah, basically I'm in Kenya. Until next time, peace. <sighs> Smackdown tomorrow. Oh, I need sleep.